Ah, os chupa a caseta. Cálvio, como não vai? Assim, não vai? Amper, bom. Sério? Que não vem de carbo. Amper, bom, não vai ter baixo, bom. Como não vai? Bom, tchau, tchau. Afonso is our neighbor, the family breadwinner. He is very diligent in his work. He goes to work in the morning and attends school in the afternoon. We are going to take a toka toka from the station to Prasa. So there we are, as usual, in our bus stop waiting for toka toka. Let's see if we, we are going to catch this one. Oh. Toka toka leba. No bad out. Let's stop this one and see if we can have a place. Okay, let's try this one. I was the most Yeah. Okay. So we are very lucky today in our Toka Toka and we are going to. Yeah, we just turned. So we didn't reach our terminal and we are going straight. Only one place left. Alright. So the rain is coming. We live in a friendly neighborhood of Kuntu Madina in Bizarre. Most people in our neighborhood use Toka Toka, a cheap and efficient form of transport in Bissau city. Due to the bad condition of the roads into the neighborhood, most of the public transport system in Bissau is not accessible to the residents of Kuntu Madina especially during the rainy season. This is the swamp area in Kunto Madina. We call it Bulanya. The whole swamp flooded when we had heavy rain all day. After the flood, it takes only hours or a day for the water level to go down. There are hundreds of swamp areas in Guinea-Bissau. In this swamp area in Gondo Marina, we cultivate mostly rice and sugar cane. Okay, so this is our, our terminal. We're going to cross. It is raining right now. You see, everyone, everyone is carrying their umbrella. The whole Bissau city is a museum of revolutionary Pan-Africanist, African nationalist leaders and national figures in the struggle for independence. Each and every road and avenue of the city is named for a combatant, revolutionary Pan-Africanist, nationalist leader and a national hero and a heroine. In this episode, I will be taking you to a walk in the rain through some historic roads and avenues around Bissau City. This is Rua Eduardo Mondelani, Portuguese for Eduardo Mondelani Street. It has a length of 0.33 kilometers from Bissau Weather Station to Chagabara Square, also known as Rotunda de Bayana. The street is named after the architect of Mozambique's national unity. Eduardo Mondelani had a vision of a free, united and independent Mozambique and shackled from the Portuguese colonial authorities. Though he was assassinated while in exile, his legacy lives on. Eduardo Shivambo Mondelani was born in June 20, 1920 in Manjakazi, province of Gaza, southern Mozambique. He worked 
as a shepherd until he was around 10 years old. Eduardo Mondelani studied anthropology and sociology in South Africa and briefly Portugal. It was in Portugal that he met other leaders of the African anti-colonialist struggle like Amilcar Cabral of Guinea-Bissau and Cape Verde and Angola's Agustinho Neto. This is Rua Mozambique, Mozambique Street, next to Rua Eduardo Mondelani, Eduardo Mondelani Street. Eduardo Mondelani then went on to complete his studies and obtain his doctoral degree in the United States of America. During his stay there, Mondelani gave classes at Syracuse University and thereafter joined the United Nations Trusteeship Council as a researcher on issues related to the independence of African countries. Among other things, he co-organized the British Cameroon's referendum in 1961 that would come to define the border lines between Cameroon and Nigeria. He was the first president and co-founder of RELIMO, Mozambican Liberation Front, in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania, in 1962. The movement that, after Mondelani's death, went on to achieve Mozambique's independence. Mondelani was a revolutionary Pan-Africanist, internationalist and anthropologist. This is Rua Rio Jasi, named after another national hero. Until this day, Mundilani is revered by many for having nurtured a pragmatic and unifying vision of Mozambique, paired with outstanding educational accolades. On February 3, 1969, Eduardo Mundilani was assassinated in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania, when he opened a package with a bomb inside. Some accused his rivals in Frelimo and PD, Portuguese International and State Defense Police, of being responsible for his death, but until the present day, his murder remains a mystery.
Eduardo Mundilani was the author of several books which include Lutar for Mozambique, The Struggle for Mozambique, released shortly after his death. It is considered to be a very important document of the nationalist movement. This is Rua Osvaldo Vera, named after another national hero. The University of Lorenzo Marquis in Maputo, the capital city of Mozambique, which was previously named by the Portuguese administration, was renamed by the Mozambique government to Eduardo Mundilan University at Independence in 1975. Now we are at Che Guevara Square, also known as Rotunda de Bayana. The first leg of our tour ends here at Che Guevara Square, Rotunda de Bayana. Now we are taking another walk through the Mingeramu Street. It has lengths of 0.3 kilometers from Che Guevara Square to Camara Municipal de Bissau, Bissau City Council. The street is named after a national hero of Guinea-Bissau uncovered, a mythical figure of the initial phase of the guerrilla warfare carried out by the African Party for the independence of Guinea uncovered PIGC against Portuguese colonial rule in the former overseas provinces of Guinea uncovered. He worked for a time as an auxiliary nurse before being called to enlist in the Portuguese colonial army. In 1957, he secretly joined the newly formed African Independence Party, PAE, predecessor of the PIGC, after the Pinjigiti massacre on August the 3rd, 1959, he deserted from the colonial army, joining the guerrillas fighting for the independence of Guinea-Bissau and Covert. In 1961, as a PHS militant, he was sent to the Chitoli area 
in order to mobilize the population, convincing the population of Satakura to refuse to pay taxes to the colonial authorities. This act was promptly countered with the use of brutal force by the Portuguese authorities. With a price on his head, Domingo Ramos was forced to escape to Guinea Conakry, from where he was sent to Ghana for military training. In 1964, he continued his military training at the Nanjing Military Academy in China, along with other prominent PHC militants such as Francisco Mendes Chicute, João Bernardo Veira Nino, and Osvaldo Veira. In late 1964, he returned to Guinea-Bissau, being appointed commander of the Eastern Front and leading the first organized guerrilla fight of the Guinea-Bissau National Liberation Struggle in December of that year, with 600 men under his command, he carried out numerous attacks against Portuguese targets. This road is under construction. It leads to the embassies of Senegal, Spain, and the Gambia. Domingos Ramos died in combat on November 10, 1966 during an assault on the heavily fortified Portuguese military detachment of Medina de Boy in southeastern Guinea-Bissau. We are going to cross the Francisco Mendes Avenue, Avenida Francisco Mendes. It has a length of 0.37 kilometers from Bande Water Tower to Imperial Square, also known as the Square of the National Heroes. Francisco Mendes, also known by his nom de guerre, Chicote, was the first Prime Minister of Guinea-Bissau. He was in office from September 24, 1973 until his fatal car accident on July 7, 1978, and Luis Cabral, the first President of Guinea-Bissau, who was in office from 24 September 1973 until 14 November 1980. The second leg of our tour ends at Camera Municipal of Bissau, Bissau City Council. This is Bissau Fire Department, Bumbero.
I am going to take you to the last leg of our tour through Rua Riolino Cruz, another unsung hero in the classroom. This street is named after Riolino Cruz, who was the only teacher at a boarding school in Kubokare, south of the country. During the colonial era, he became a national hero because on 17 February 1964, he lost his life trying to save his students during a colonial air raid on Kubokare. 17 February is a national day of teachers in Guinea-Bissau to commemorate the life and work of Riolino Cruz the inspiration for teachers of today and tomorrow. This is Avenida da Unidad Africana, Portuguese for African Unity Avenue. It has a length of 1.5 kilometers from Bande Water Tower to Camara Municipal de Bissau, Bissau City Council.